In this video, what I wanted to do is have a look at two new plugins that received some changes. So first of all, to do with the level meter, you'll notice the level meter now shows a R128 compliant loudness meter. And we also have loudness units and LUFS, so loudness units relative to full scale, also commonly referred to as LKFS. So what does this mean? Well, essentially this is a tool that allows us to mix to current loudness standards. Now, whether you're working in broadcast or music, there's a lot of new loudness standards that are coming into play. So for example, iTunes with their minus 16 LKFS suggested loudness levels. Also, we've got different standards for other streaming services such as Spotify, anywhere from minus 12 to minus 13 LKFS. And it's rumored that YouTube automatically normalizes their content to a minus 13 LKFS. So if I use the LUFS meter over here and I'm in the R128 mode, I can get a very accurate representation of exactly the levels that I'm hitting. And this really helps when you're mixing. So for example, let's see where these vocals are sitting right now. Sun comes up or the rain is down. I'm your horse. Sky should fall, break your wonder wall. I'm your horse. So that just gave me my reading. I've got an integrated loudness of minus 23.8, and I've got a loudness range average of 5.7 loudness units. And in addition to that, I also see my true peak information. And this is very valuable because true peak is the new monitoring standard in terms of taking care of intersample peaks. So this new level meter with the R128 and loudness units is a very welcomed addition. Now, in addition to that, we also have a new spectrum meter with a new micro view. And this is pretty cool because we can actually adjust the different modes directly from the micro view. Sun comes up or the rain is down. I'm your horse. Sky should fall, break your wonder wall. I'm your So pretty simple, but nevertheless, very welcomed improvements. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the updated integration we have when working with Studio One 3.5 and above and Notion 6.2 and above. I'll catch you in the next video.